is Lauren and today we're going to learn how to make bows. So to start you're going to get two um, different pieces of fabric. You can use the same but I like the contrast between them. The larger one is going to be ten and a half inches by nine and a half and the smaller piece is going to be three and a half inches by two and a half and it works best if you start by ironing them flat. So to start flip it over so you have the pretty side of your fabric and fold it in half like a hot dog and same with the small piece. Go ahead and sew along the long edge on both pieces. With this piece I went back and I ironed it again. This edge was sewn and then with this, if you can see, this was the part that was sewn. I laid it flat and ironed it like this so when you wrap it around you won't see the seam. Take this piece, flip it inside out so the pretty side is now out, and then take the edges, match them up, and sew along the edge. When you have this piece, one side will be flat, and one side will have that seam. I went and I pressed it again, and at this point you're gonna take your fabric and you're gonna start pleating it. So take a little bit and keep folding it over on itself. And when you get to the end, you can either put a pin through it or put a clip. The next step is deciding which clip you will use. If you have thin hair, an alligator clip works best. If you're working for a young child, a smaller clip will do. And if you're an adult or you have very thick hair, a full size clip will work. You can also adapt this and get a bow tie clip. I went with a full size clip because I have thicker hair. I took the part that was a smaller one that was ironed down. And I like to take it where when it's open, you slide it through, wrap it around, and then sew on this edge. Once it's sewn, you can flip it around so then this sewn part is inside. So the last step is taking this and you just slide it into the middle and adjust it as needed. And then you can flip around so that seam is right over this. And you can even take a spot of hot glue and glue it into place so it doesn't move. And just like that, your bow is done.